Let's bring in market watcher David Barnson. All right, David, as you know, I read your stuff and you think there's a big Nasdaq sell-off coming. Is that correct? It's correct as long as we don't put a timeline around it, which doesn't make it a particularly bold prediction. But I don't have any doubt that valuations mean revert and that there are tech stocks that are just perversely overvalued. So, yes, I think that correction's coming, but I wouldn't venture to guess as to exactly when it would. This is the part, Stuart, that won't change, and that's human nature. Human nature has a certain greed element in it, and it has a component that doesn't learn from history. So when things get grossly overvalued and we hear that this is where all the action is and when we hear that these things can't correct, that's when I'd be really afraid. Okay. Supposing, take your word for it, that a correction in big tech is coming. I sell some big tech. Where do I put that money? Which stocks should I get into now? Well, I think it all depends on the objective of the investor. And if somebody wants to replace what is yesterday's fast-moving stocks of FANG with a new form of innovation, then I think there's far more exciting and innovative and disruptive technologies to pursue. But most investors right now are not coming saying, hey, I want high growth. They want the FANG growth because they're familiar with it. What most investors want is income. And interest rates are at 0% and they're going to stay there for a very long time. Most investors want some reasonable level of defense, stability. So I think those dividend growers that are uh, really the only area in the market you can get both, relative defensiveness and a superior cash flow. You look at some of these financial names, J.P. Morgan, Truist, which is the old BB&T bank that merged with SunTrust. Those banks are very undervalued. You look at some of the energy names like Chevron with a huge 6.5% dividend yield that's still growing. Uh, These are really, really good opportunities in this environment for income and defense.